Thank you all for your patience. So um, in Chinese medicine, there's something that we call seasonal qi. And that means from season to season, the energy changes from meridian to meridian system. And as we move into the season of the fall or autumn, we're moving into lung time. So I thought it was an appropriate time to talk about the lung meridian, not only for that reason, but because we have a new season in California now, fire season. And so many people in the Bay Area are being inundated with bad air, um, just smoky conditions. And it's just really important that we understand what the lungs do, why it's so important to maintain, you know, good quality air when we can use HEPA filters indoors, wear your masks outside when it's smoky and just how we can protect our lungs and stay healthy through the fall season every year, through fire season every year, and to basically just really support our whole system and you'll see why. Next slide, please. All right, so the lung meridian or the lung channel in Chinese medicine has a lot of important functions. First, it governs the qi and respiration, which basically is breathing, controls the channels and the vessels, which is basically the circulation of that breath and oxygen to the tissues and the vessels. It controls dispersing and descending, so dispersing this oxygen, this qi, and descending is a really important thing I wanna point out here that the lung chi needs to descend. When the lung chi goes up, it's what we call rebellious chi. Coughing, wheezing, spitting up phlegm, things like that, the lung chi is going the wrong way. Lung chi always needs to descend. So there's a lot of points along this meridian here that have the function of descending that lung, lung chi to stop cough. Um, lungs also regulate the water passages, so getting the fluids where they need to go. It controls the skin and the hair, so the fluid that comes out of our skin that moisturizes our hair. Um, the lung channel opens to the nose, and so of course this also controls our breathing and the amount of oxygen we can get in. And another important thing to point out here is the lung channel houses the corporeal soul. Basically, what this means is that we can have deep soul level traumas that will manifest themselves along the lung meridian and lung channel. And I've seen this happen to many, many clients I've treated over the 15 years who have lost a loved one or experienced grief and have had some physical manifestation in their respiratory system. Next slide, please. So a couple other interesting things about the lung channel, it loathes cold. So that's why people who are asthmatic or have um, COPD, things like that, have a lot of trouble breathing really cold air in. It tightens the chest. Um, the lung channel also governs the voice. So you know people have really good lung chi when they have a strong, powerful voice. When you hear people have a very weak um, and quiet voice, that's usually a sign that the lung chi may be deficient. The lung channel is also paired with the large intestine. So this can manifest sometimes also as some intestinal issues when there are some lung imbalances. As we said, the lung channel is associated with the season of fall or autumn. It's also associated with the color white. So um, it is said that you can wear white to tonify your lungs. You can use white crystals on your body. Um, you can surround yourself with white things if you're working on strengthening the lung chi. And we talked about the emotion associated with the lungs is grief. So as you can see from the diagram, there are 11 points in the lung channel, starting in the upper chest, coming down the arm, and terminating at the radial side of um, the arm and the hand. Next slide, please. So some symptoms of having a lung imbalance would be what I was referring to earlier as rebellious chi. Cough, phlegm, shortness of breath, wheezing, catching colds or flus easily, 
spontaneous sweating or prolonged grief and sadness. Next slide, please. So there are lots of great foods that we can eat to support our lung meridian. And because the color associated with the lungs is white, it's really white foods, right? So apricots, apples, cabbage, cucumber, daikon, and other radishes like horseradish, Irish moss, which is an interesting one, but um, great to use for um, making vegan pies. Um, onions and white mushrooms, peaches and pears. Um, you guys have probably heard me talk about how pears are really like a prized fruit for the lungs. They're very moist and filled with fluid and you can make pear tea, add some ginger to it and that's really wonderful for the lungs. Um, turnips is on this list and white peppercorns as well. Next slide. So there's lots of great herbs for the lungs in Chinese medicine. We have a whole pharmacopoeia of these fantastic herbs and they're divided up into categories. And a lot of these herbs are either in the tonify the qi, which is tonifying your lung qi category, or in the category of clearing um, dampness and phlegm out of the lungs. So you might recognize some of these. The photo here is lily bulb, which nourishes young, uh, lung yin. Um, licorice root is on here, which moistens the lung to stop coughing. Ginger root warms the lung for cold phlegm. Um, astragalus root really tonifies the chi. Mamortica fruit moistens and cools the lungs. Loquat leaf clears the lungs to transform the phlegm. And uh, shingren apricot seed stops coughing and wheezing. It's a, actually a really wonderful and commonly used herb to help clear phlegm from the lungs. Next slide, please. <clears throat> so commonly in Chinese medicine, we don't really use the herbs singularly. We use them in a combination that we call formulas, Chinese herb formulas. And there's formulas for cold phlegm, there's formulas for hot phlegm, there's formulas for lung dryness. So this is where it really requires a well practiced acupuncturists and medicinal herbalists to be able to diagnose you properly and then choose the right herbs depending on what your pattern is. Next slide, please. So I'm gonna go through some of my favorite lung formulas here with you so that you can see what's in them and there's a lot of common things in them. So this is a wonderful formula for exactly what it's called restoring the lung. So this is after having an acute or prolonged illness and it can really help treat chronic cough, the one that just lingers and you just want it to go away and it's super annoying. So post bronchitis, um, cough that has fatigue, shortness of breath and that spontaneous sweating. Remember when our lung chi is weak, the lungs open to the skin, our precious fluids leak out in a way that you really shouldn't. We should be retaining that moisture and fluid for our bodies. Next slide. And in this formula, you can see the first uh, herb is astragalus root, which I had mentioned earlier for tonifying the chi. So this is a restore the chi, restore the lung formula. So this one is called the Linger lung formula. And Linger is reishi mushrooms. And these are basically strictly medicinal mushrooms are really not used in the culinary world at all. But they are a prized medicinal herb that rectify lung chi, supplement the lung, helps kidneys grasp the chi when there's wheezing, can help get rid of phlegm, stop cough, and also calms the spirit. That's one of the most wonderful things about reishi mushroom is it's not only good for the lungs, it's also really great for the spirit. So um, you guys have heard me say I love mushrooms and I think reishi is probably my favorite one. All right, next slide. So because I love mushrooms so much, I had to include another mushroom formula. I think that's what's coming next. Oh no, it's the one after, okay. So this one is fritillaria and pinealia and this is probably one of the most common formulas I use to help resolve phlegm for people. 
And this one is a hot phlegm formula. So this is where the phlegm is sticky, yellow, even greenish, sometimes hard to get out, chest feels really full and heavy. And this one can be good for smoke burst cough, which I think is also really good for when we have a lot of smoke in the air and we're basically you know, having to breathe in poor air. So this can be a great one to help clear up the respiratory system from the side effects of some uh, poor air quality. So that photo there is of the lo hanguo, the mamorca fruit. Next slide. All right, this last one is the five mushroom formula. And as the name states, there are five mushrooms in it. And the photo you see here is of turkey tail mushroom. And that's one of the mushrooms in this formula. And turkey tail is really well known for its anti-tumor, anti-cancer properties. So I love using this one to just really um, help people who maybe are worried if they've got cancer in the family, things like that, to really just help um, their bodies hopefully steer clear of that. But this is a really wonderful way to just boost your immune system, um, really just help your body stay strong, especially when there are several things going on at the same time that could impact our um, respiratory and immune systems. All right, next slide. All right, um, it looks like we have come to the end, my friends. And if you guys have any questions about how to protect your lungs, formulas that you can take, herbs, things like that, I'm happy to answer any questions for you. My website is janaxelrad.com. I put my cell phone up there for you so that you could text me or call me. And my email address is fullmoonjana at gmail.com. I'm seeing patients in my Pacifica office on Mondays and Thursdays. And I'm also um, doing a mobile visits, house calls, and providing Zoom sessions and mailing herbs as well. Thank you so much for your time and your patience. If you guys have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them for you. April. So I recently have been, I think we kind of talked about it. I've been introduced to the sea moss. Is there a difference between Jamaican and Irish sea moss or do they do this? Do they both have the same benefit? Ooh, I don't know the answer to that question. I've never seen Jamaican sea moss, but does it look the same? It does. Hold on. Okay. Fascinating. Yeah, you have to soak it. It's like the seaweed. It's really hard at first, and you put it in water, and it softens up. And then you put it in your Vitamix or your blender when you're making raw vegan pies to set them. Oh yeah, it looks it kind says, of similar. But it, it does say Jamaican. But this guy had taken it though, he started making it and he had developed cancer maybe five years ago. And I guess he's been taking it. He's clear, but he, you know, all the same thing you said about the phlegm and clearing it. But I just didn't know, I read up, there was both of them. So I didn't know if you knew if they had the same. It's gotta be the same thing. It's probably the same properties. It's just the location that it comes from. Okay. Would be my guess. Cool okay. though. And, I learned something um, new today. Thank you. Well, thank you. I was like, oh, I know what that is. I was all excited. <laughs> and um, now I, are you, I, I know at the beginning when you opened up, you were kind of doing emergency, you know, people really needed it. Um, am I able to come back in just to come back in now? Okay. You are, you are, yes. I finally okay. got through my emergency patients, so any and all are welcome. <laughs> yeah, thanks for asking. I'll be April. seeing you then. Thank you. I have a question. Sure. Jana, are all of those for all of those formulas that you talked about? Are they um, taken orally? Then how how are you? 
taking those? Yes, that's a good question. Yeah, most of them are in pill forms, but the pinealia and fritillaria also comes in a syrup so that you can just do a couple little spoonfuls. And this one's um, safe for children also. And there are some great pediatric formulas as well. So Gianna, I just wanted to um, thank you for helping us out. And I'm sort of feeling like you could be focusing a lot more on the herbology in our group, um, especially now when maybe people aren't willing to come and see you um, and do the, you know, do the touch thing uh, might be a great thing to, uh, to offer us. Yeah, I have been sending a lot of herbs to people and it's been really nice um, if they're in the area, they receive them very quickly. And I've been able to work with people who were former clients of mine who moved to Utah and you know, all over the country. So I've been able to ship herbs out to people who have really needed them. And that's been really nice. So I'm happy to do herb consults anytime. Thank you, Eric. Anyone else? We, I was able to get this recorded, by the way. Oh, no way. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just really excited we got to see it. It was, you know, beautiful slides. Um, you know, it's just seeing even just those wonderful pictures. Like, I'm thinking, oh, what can I make with turnips? Like, I don't <laughs> even cook with turnips, but it just kind of helped get that mind healthy and, and present. So it's definitely motivating and it was a beautiful slide, so I'm glad we got to see it. I'm, wondering I'm so if, uh, glad too. I was so worried. <laughs> I'm wondering if you ought to do a food moment every week. You know, I mean, food is part of Chinese medicine healing. You know, they all have medicinal properties. It's like the herbs. Herbs are food. Food are herbs. They just look a little different, but they're plant mm -hmm. medicines that come from the earth. And we have to understand that, you know, what we put in our bodies is what we're going to get out. So um, you guys heard me talk in the spring and I talk about the liver and the gallbladder because that's springtime is liver and gallbladder time. And so there's certain foods we want to focus on different times of the year, different seasons. And um, that is definitely something I could um, share more often as a, a seasonal chi slideshow. Or give us a, you know, give us maybe a recipe every month. Mm -hmm. That would be interesting. You know, Can I ask one more question? Yeah. Of question. course. So is there an uh, uh, acupuncture point? I don't know if that's a proper verbiage, but um, I mean, I know the way to stop craving sugar is to stop eating sugar <laughs> and eventually you'll stop. <laughs> but is there a point that you can help kind of set that tone to kind of reduce those sugar cravings? Yeah, um, there's 92 points in the ear and it's like an upside down fetus, right? That homunculus idea. And so there's points for hunger, the mouth, metabolism, things like that, that you can put little ear seeds in the ear. And when you get hungry, you kind of massage these points and, you know, hopefully wait a few minutes and, and the craving passes and you drink some water and you feel satisfied. Okay, because I got people in the office that keep bringing donuts and bagels and I'm like, stop, I need to stop. So it's been bad and I, I haven't been able just to walk right past it. So I'm stuffing like five donut holes in my mouth as I go to the restroom and back and forth. <laughs> That's where you have to bring a peach, a pear, a plum, a banana and an apple. And every time you would eat a donut, you eat one of those fruits instead and go nanny nanny boo boo to everyone else who's eating donuts. <laughs> All right. I like that. I'll do that Any after I get rid of the gluten-free and vegan piece of cake in my refrigerator. Okay. <laughs> I don't blame Can you. Eric. Ask one question? Yeah. Uh, you presented a few different formulas. Which one will be the most beneficial right now? I know the, all of them have the benefits, but Let's say for me, I'm wearing the mask eight, nine hours a day, and the right now cannot even open the windows for the last 10 days. And I'm really concerned, uh, for not only for me, for family members. And so which one will be the better for me to order? 
This is where looking at your tongue and getting an intake, right? Where there's hot phlegm, there's cold phlegm and our constitution matters, right? Where this is where you really want someone to sort of look at the whole system and not just like throw something random at it. Mm -hmm. um, the, the most neutral thing that anyone can do is take a mushroom blend. So that is probably what I would say, you know, without having seen you or anyone in your family is everyone take the mushrooms. As long as you're not allergic, the mushrooms. The five mushroom one? Yeah, there's a liquid five mushroom formula. Um, Eric's tried a mushroom spray that um, I really like too that has oh, peppermint oil in it. One. I have that one. That's, that's one is great. spray. That one's great for on the go and you have it in your bag and if you come into contact with someone who you're like, oh, I heard them coughing in the corner, <laughs> you do a little quick sprays and um, I, I do like that one for traveling, but I do have a big bottle of the liquid mushrooms that I do a little shot of and I throw it in my smoothie and I have powdered mushrooms I also put in my smoothie. So because I'm working so closely with people, it's really important that I keep my immune system um, functioning and not good, it's working. So thank you. Mushrooms, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you everybody. Um,